Skeptics such as the members of the Loch Ness Project believe that the unique topography of Loch Ness gives rise to some sightings. Loch Ness researcher Adrian Schein suggests there are two factors in creating illusions on the loch. First, the loch is like a wind tunnel because it's aligned with the prevailing southwest to northeast winds. Second, because of its great depth, the loch water never gets too warm in summer, nor too cold in the winter. In fact, the loch never freezes. In winter, the relatively warm water meets colder air, producing unexpected mirages on the surface. And the winds of late summer, meeting the warmer, less dense top layer of the water, can induce an extraordinary process called a seiche. A seiche as demonstrated in this tank is created when the red upper warm layer mixes with the blue colder layer. This mixing process is kick-started by the wind to produce a rolling underwater wave driving the surface waters along the loch. This seesaw motion is almost invisible to the human eye as the warm layer passes over the cold water underneath. The top layer takes about 30 hours to travel the length of the loch. Once it reaches the far end, it bounces back this time traveling against the wind. Debris such as a log carried by the top layer of water will appear to swim against the wind. This unique footage clearly shows a log swept along in a seiche. So I might see an object on Loch Ness and think, well, oh, that's a log. And then I see that it's swimming into the wind. So I've rationalized that because it's moving against the wind, it's swimming, hence anima. Schein believes that sightings of logs and other debris moving in this apparently lifelike way trigger many false monster reports. Logs flow into the loch from six rivers and are pushed toward the center by an underwater current called the Langmuir circulation. The log is then in position to be picked up by the seiche as the wind begins to blow down the lake. But could people really mistake a moving log for a monster? One way of testing that theory is to drag a log through the water on the end of a rope. Many sightings mention humps, while others talk of heads and necks for this test, Adrian Schein picks a log at random. In the right light, and with a chop on the water, our Loch Ness Monster is revealed in all its glory. Many modern eyewitness sightings may well be the result of animals swimming, boat wakes, large fish, or logs. Yet the legend has persisted for year after year. 